So we are ready for the second one. And these are going to be guys, these guys are light heavyweights. Light heavyweights. Jose de la Torre taking on Julio Alcantar. Aladir Alvarez, the new king of the light heavyweight division with his upset of Kovalov. I got to do a lot of Aladir Alvarez's fights up at the Bell Center in Montreal. And boy, when he got the opportunity against Kovalov, he showed it. Hey, he, he definitely, he definitely did show it. Um, and me, you said you've seen him before, but me was the first time I've ever seen him fight, and he it was a great showing. See, see, see. So we are ready for the official announcement from see, our ring see, announcer, see. Pablo Flores. See, 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 see. See, see, those, those, those. Damas y caballeros, Boristeca Boxing Promotions presenta este encuentro pactado a cuatro rounds en la división de peso semi completo. Ladies and gentlemen, four rounds of boxing in the light heavyweight division. Your three judges scoring this bout in ringside. Sus tres jueces: Jesús González, Iván Velasco y Ángel Viedas. And your referee in charge of the action: su referee, el profesor Fernando Rentería. Introducing to your first, the fighter standing in the blue corner, wearing red trunks with white trim. He officially weighs in at 175 pounds. Presentando ustedes en la esquina azul, vistiendo pantaloncillo color rojo con blanco, con un peso de 175 libras. He stands with seven professional bouts. Cuenta con siete combates profesionales del barrio Bravo del Florido en Tijuana. Julio. Alcantar and his opponent is standing across the ring in the red corner wearing white and red he officially weighs in at 175 pounds y su rival en la esquina roja vistiendo pantaloncillo blanco con rojo con un peso idéntico de 175 libras and tonight making his pro debut haciendo su debut profesional from Los Angeles, California, USA, Jose El Bravo de la Torre. And here is your referee with the final instructions con las indicaciones finales, su referee, el profesor Fernando Rentería. ¿Listos? Ok. Listos, vamos a hacer una pelea limpia. No cabezazos, no golpes en la nuca, no en la espalda ni bajo el cinturón. Se cuiden en todo momento. Choquen guantes, suerte, gana el mejor. So we are ready for our next battle. It is going to be in the light heavyweight division. Your principles in the ring. They are Julio Alcantar is going to be wearing the red trunks. The taller, Jose de la Torre, is making his pro debut from Los Angeles, California. He is going to be wearing the white trunks with the red stripe and the red belt. De La Torre, he's got Arnold Banzaba, Jesus Lopez. Only five amateur fights for De La Torre. Julio Alcantara on the other hand, what you're gonna get out of this guy, this guy's a brawler. He's gonna bring it, he's got a big punch and he wants to use it. Yeah, Benny, those were his terms though as far as him saying that he had a big punch. Uh, definitely the record, one in five does not say it that he does have a big punch. Referee getting in between him as he pushed him right there. Julio Alcantar, you can tell he's not a very disciplined type of fighter. He's a little bit wild. Now, as a fighter right here, Christopher, I mean, you got to keep your composure and just manage that space when you get a wild one like Julio Alcantar. Yeah, De La Torre just has to do what you just said. It's just manage his space. Uh, you got a guy throwing rocks pretty much. Um, you just have to... Keep your distance, measure them, and just time them with, with a good punch. Aggression and anticipation, contact and counter. That's what you want to do? Yeah, basically that's all you want to do is, is counter the, those wild shots uh, from Alcantar. Both fighters appear gassed already. <laughs> Alcantar definitely seems the worst of it, um, he, throwing those big shots. Maybe he came in knowing that he's not in the best of shape, and he tried to get his opponent out early. 
I told you folks are going to bring it, and that's what they're going to do. These guys are all about launching that leather repeatedly. And that was a good shot to the body by De La Torre. De La Torre fighting as a southpaw. Trying to get in that straight right. Now he switches over. I, see now, Christopher, give me your thoughts on that. A fight of the changes from southpaw to conventional. Don't you think it slows him down when he switches to southpaw? Well, the the best uh, the best example is, is Crawford right now, the, the one of the pound for pound kings. You know, um, some guys can do it well, some can't. Uh, we'll see if uh, Jacobs Jay does it well do. too. As well, yeah, Jacobs as well. And now Alessandro De La Torre seems to get his second win, loading up on those shots. And I think De La Torre does a, a does better work in the orthodox. One of the stance. best I've seen at switching back and forth was Giovanni Segura. Giovanni Segura kind of fought in an arrow, kind of in a triangle, so you couldn't really tell. Yeah, he definitely had a lot of success. Not not the most um, gifted boxer per se, but. Uh, his awkwardness, his toughness made uh, Giovanni Segura very, very good. Okay, so I'm going to have Christopher now be my judge. How do you score that one? Well, oh, definitely in the, in, the, in the first round, I get to De La Torre. Um, even though um, Alcantar came out a little aggressive, uh, throwing those wild looping shots, I think uh, De La Torre did a, a better job of sitting in the pocket and landing his shots, crisper shots. Let's take a look, look at some of the action here in round number one. And you take it here, Christopher. Well, here we go with uh, De La Torre making, uh, making Alcantar miss. And I believe right oh, in between, in between those shots, uh, at one point, De La Torre was able to throw in the middle uh, to the body. Well, um, I told you Alcantar is going to be aggressive, and he sure was that. He practically sent him an email, let him know I'm going to throw <laughs> this right hand. And there it was. Contact and counter, aggression, anticipation. That's what it's all about. So let's see here. Jose de la Torre, he's got the white trunks on. Julio Alcantar in the red trunks. De la Torre, I think he's so much better when he stays as a right hand. He can throw that left like he did there. Yeah, he's best off, de la Torre is, in the orthodox position. And those are all big, wide arm punches on the part of Julio Alcantar. And he said in the fighter meeting that his best shot was the overhand right. Um, and that's pretty much all he's throwing. But if you're gonna train somebody like Alcantar, what would you do with him, Christopher? Um, there's really not much you could do with somebody like that, uh, but he simply needs to just go to basics because he really has no basics. He's, he's just throwing um, street fight punches. And you know, they appear to have tremendous power on it, those wide shots, but in actuality, they don't. It and does not. to me why all of a sudden they don't have that much well, because there's no real leverage behind it, uh, Benny. And no fundamentals does Alcantar have. So those shots aren't effective. They, they look nice, but they're not effective. All of a sudden, De La Torre now is mounting a body attack against Julio Alcantar in the red trunks. But that might be a first for me. Alcantar put both his hands and rested him on his knees. Al Alcantar is got a shot to the, and I think that was a thumb, and that's it. The referee stepping right in, we saw that Alcantara was not going to be able to do much. Rather wild, they were wide shots. Better to fight another day. Yeah, De La Torre caught him with a good shot, but uh, I believe the referee stepped in a little bit too early. Um, everyone here at the Big Punch Arena, we want to see blood. Uh, that, that's what we come to see, but the referee had something else in mind. And you know, I've always, always, I, I never criticize that part as far as for the officials because again, to say I have the utmost of respect for anybody willing to step into that ring. So if they can fight another day, so be it. Because I'll never forget, one of the first fights I saw was growing up was a fight between Benny Kid Fared and Emil Griffin. And that one was where the reputation of a fighter hurt him. And here we have it. You can see the action right there in the corner. De La Torre just battering Alcantar. And it's going to be a, a, a long, left hook actually it was a right hand my bad but he wobbled the ref saw it and you're right Benny um, we're here the ref is here for the safety of the fighters exactly better to see him fight another day than stop it too late 
And I think the referees do a great job here, and especially like here in Tijuana, a lot of these guys are doctors. They're medical doctors that also serve as referees. They have the tremendous passion for the sport of boxing, and they come out here and, again, like you said, the safety of the fighters. So here's Pablo Flores with the official announcement of the tie in the second round of the stoppage. Damas y caballeros, este combate llega a su fin con un tiempo de 1 minuto 25 segundos en el segundo asalto. We have the official time of 1 minute 25 seconds in round number 2. Declaring the winner by the way of TKO. Su ganador por la vía del knockout técnico de Los Ángeles, California. José el Bravo de la Torre. And there you have the official time, one minute, 25 seconds of round number two. Jose de la Torre, in a very, very successful pro debut, gets a stoppage of Julio Alcantar, the big brawler from Tijuana, Baja California. So in the light heavyweight division, Jose de la Torre gets his first professional win. Best in boxing, presented by Global Sports Streaming. And again, these are the guys that are launching their careers they're chasing a dream, and they're chasing a dream to someday be a world champion, but it's got to start someplace, and you got to pay your dues, and it's part of the experience. You travel. Jose de la Torre coming here all the way from Los Angeles to make the weight and get here into the ring, and we're going to see a lot of that tonight. Now, Christopher, you get a guy like this in uh, Jose de la Torre. Obviously, he was trying some stuff. In the first round, he was switching back and forth between a southpaw and a right-handed stance. Finally, he just stuck to the right-handed stance, and that seemed to work a lot better. Yeah, once he figured out that his best stance was the orthodox position, he was